Hi, my name is John Martinez. I'm a project manager for the controls department and uh, we run a variety of installs of BMS systems and our branded ACES system installs. I'm just going to run you quickly through um, some of the features and just to give an explanation of what the ACES system is really. Uh, so we're looking at the system at the minute. So this is a typical data centre and what we do on here is, uh, this is an overview of the whole of the whole facility. We monitor the actual data centre itself for uh, temperature, conditions to make sure all the systems in, in correct parameters. We pick up information from uh, the UPSs um, in terms of the facility load and how much current uh, energy is being pulled. Um, we have then the outside external plant as well which is basically where all the heat's rejected so that's the chilled water, uh, the chillers, the, um, the free cooling chillers which use obviously the ambient outside ambient to reject the heat through the free cooling coils. Now one of the advantages of tying all the system together is that the systems can talk to each other. So for example, the chillers know exactly what the indoor units are doing. We can then, rather than supplying water too low, at a too low a temperature, we can then rescale the set point on the outside plant to match what's actually happening on the indoor to reflect the actual load. Um, and the system becomes a whole lot more efficient. We can maximise the free cooling use out of it and it just makes everything more optimised for what the system's actually required as opposed to wasting any cooling and therefore energy. Um, as part of this system, uh, we have a variety of different uh, screens which the user can press. So for example, on the energy monitoring side of things, uh, you've got an overview of the electrical, um, the, ele the electrical layout of the system. So you can see there the power meters, got the distribution boards all the way back, right back to the generators and you can click on any one of these to bring up, to sort of drill down into the system and find more information about that particular piece of equipment. So also on the side you've got there um, the live PUE of the system. So that's just a metric which is used in data centres which allows the user to gauge how efficient their system is um, and how much it's, how much IT load is there compared to how much energy it's actually using. Um, you can see the total facility load there, um, other load, things like lighting and things like that, um, and then it takes that and calculates it all into an into a average value of 1.2, and that can be checked on a daily basis so the user can see what the, how the facility is performing, and it can be graphed and you can see that changing over time. Um, we've got another screen here which is just showing all the live values for the um, for the currents and the, and the actual power, um, things like reactive power, apparent power, um, and then the status of those, those individual distribution items as well. Um, if we look at the, uh, for example, the UPS room cooling that we've got in there. So for example, um, you've got an extract system here because the system brings in fresh air, uses fresh air for cooling to maintain the temperature within the rooms uh, year round. So obviously reduce the, the use of, of mechanical um, cooling which uses more energy. So fresh air is brought in, the extract fans then remove that extra air to prevent the room becoming overpressurized and that's all controlled through the AC system as well. On this particular system we also uh, monitor the fire, the fire protection within the data center so um, that uses gas uh, as, as a fire suppressant, so when there's a fire detected within the system, the gas will be dumped into the data centre to eliminate the oxygen from the space. We also pick up the status of that. Um, don't necessarily control it in this case, it's controlled by an external system, but we pick up statuses from that so the customer can be informed if, for example, the fire system goes off at two o'clock in the morning, you know, they can get an email or a text message to be informed of that and a, and a call out as well. This screen is the, uh, the, alarm, the alarm console, so on here you get live statuses of all the equipment and how it's performing. For example, if uh, a, a piece of equipment breaks down, you'll get an alarm that comes up here and that'll also be routed out um, to the customer so that they know and they can pick that up and they can, they can sort out a call out as, as, as required. You also get then, uh, so this is the live alarms, so for example on this system you've got several alarms there that are actually active, therefore red. Um, you've got one alarm which has not been acknowledged but it's still active so the customer can quite clearly see uh, what the status of the system is. And then at the bottom you've got the alarm history which is a historical view um, and you can go back, you can select the various uh, time periods. For example you can see all the alarms that happened last year, last month, last week. Um, so you've got a full, 
a full history there. Um, another feature that we have as part of our ACES system is the ability to remotely monitor your sites via our cloud server. So for example, this site, um, it doesn't have a local uh, BMS control, it's all sent out, out to our cloud server. The customer then gets a login, which they can log into and they can see all the data remotely. And they don't necessarily have to have the data storage on site then. It can all be stored by us, looked after us, and then you know, it prevents if there's a, a system crash on site or anything like that, we've got all the data backed up on our cloud in a secure data center uh, on multiple servers. So there's obviously redundancy there for the customer. So two key benefits of installing an AC system on your site. Uh, number one is the ability to get all your equipment communicating to each other through one common interface uh, to normalize all the data and allow all the, all the equipment to talk to each other and optimize what's actually happening so nothing's being wasted in terms of energy efficiency. The second reason would be the ability to monitor all your systems remotely and be informed if anything breaks down and if there's any issues on site you, you can be made aware of that whether it's you know 3 a.m. in the morning if something breaks down you will get an email, a text message um, and then action can be taken accordingly. <laughs>